Tanja Buford Bailey is the most decorated women's track and field athlete in Fighting Illini history after winning 25 Big Ten individual and relay titles and posting 10 All-American performances. She was named Big Ten Women's Track and Field Athlete of the Year four times. Tanja was a three-time Olympic hurdler, earning a bronze medal in the 400-meter hurdles in 1996. Please welcome Hall of Famer, my good friend, Tanja Buford Bailey. I was actually here in March on my recruiting visit in 1989 during the Final Four. So champagne was lit at the time. <laughs> Gary Winkler, he was a sneaky guy. <laughs> Thanks a lot uh, to Josh M uh, Whitman. You know, I was um, coaching here at Illinois and um, in the Bill Felt building, and we would have these head coaches meetings, and we would have them in the Hall of Fame room of Bill Felt. And I would always sit there and think, man, wow, what if we actually had a Hall of Fame? And what if I was actually in it? <laughs> You know, when you have slight ADD and you do a lot of daydreaming during head coaches' meetings. Uh, so you can make your dreams as wild as you want. So I was like, yeah, what if we actually had a, a Hall of Fame and I was in it? So thanks a lot, Josh, because uh, really this, this uh, at the time was a dream because we had been hearing about it for years and years and years of how um, uh, they always wanted to do it. And um, so it, it's just really awesome that we have this opportunity. Thanks to the donors, um, thanks to the Varsity I family, Chris Tuttle, Lisa Rusa. Um, I know all the work that, that they've done over the years just with the Varsity I in general, and it's really great being able to bring back all the um, alumni for all the different events. That means a lot to um, the program. Uh, it's a great honor to be in, in the inaugural class, the first ever class. That, that's really, really special. and. Um, you know, when I got the call from Josh, I really just couldn't believe it and was just so excited uh, to be able to get that personal call, phone call from him. What I think about when I think of Illinois is I think about all the stages of my adult life and um, where I am in my career now and every single little piece I contribute to being here at Illinois. Um, the first stage is, is actually coming out of high school and I really don't think that I was the person that would have really been pursuing college. I, I don't know what I would have ended up doing with my life, but, but that wasn't um, my first instinct. I really was just a track runner. And then when I had the opportunity to be able to go to college and get a scholarship, be accepted into University of Illinois, um, and into what I always dreamed of doing, which was being a teacher, and I was automatically um, accepted into College of Education. There was a guy named Terry Cole who really, really looked after me every step of the way, made sure I got my grades. I was fortunate enough in 2013 to be um, honored as a distinguished alumni in the College of Education. And when you think about those things, um, it, it was the athletic department who put people in my life to help monitor me and make sure that I was going down the right path. I think the next step, being able to compete at the University of Illinois, um, having opportunities that I don't think I would have had at other universities, those Big Ten titles that you hear about. You know, when at Illinois, I was able to run the 100, the 200, all the sprinting events, all the relays, all the hurdle events, and you know, you, I don't know if I would have had that opportunity at other schools. I feel like the Big Ten conference was just perfect for me. I fit right into it perfectly, and being a coach now, you know, you can see how there are certain athletes that fit into certain um, conferences very well, and, and, and that was me. And then I had a coach who really believed in me and, and used me to um, help even myself be better in the sport and, and, uh, and develop me really great. And, and I uh, thank Carol Cars for that, because she really searched out and, and, and hunted down Gary Winkler and, and, uh, and brought him to the University of Illinois. I don't know where Carol is. These lights are very bright. But um, thanks to Carol Cars. Because, uh, you know, she brought Gary Winkler to Illinois and really transformed the entire Illinois women's track and field program. Um, another thing was just people don't understand when you're in sport how the university helps develop you to the next level. Um, I made my first Olympic team when I was in college. So all the skills and development that I had as a collegiate athlete 
in you know, just the support of the athletic department, getting to Olympic trials, all the little things that you don't think about um, financially, uh, coaching-wise and support-wise that the university was able to do for me where allowed me to be able to make an Olympic team my junior year in college, which in turn gave me the experience in 1996 and 2000 to be able um, to get a medal. You know, those are the grassroots experiences that you need. So I just think about all the things that University of Illinois afforded me that, um, that helped me to make my career better. Um, then I, I ended up getting into coaching. I got my first coaching job here at the University of Illinois as an assistant coach, and I had not coached one day before that, I'll tell you. So <laughs> I was doing some volunteer coaching here and there, and, and if you knew how hard it is to get a job in this sport, um, you would know how impressive that was. But uh, Gary Winkler believed in me, but the first thing he said was, I'm going to teach you how to be a coach. You're not just going to come in and start coaching. So I shadowed him for three years. I, I watched him coach the high jump, the long jump, the shot put. Uh, everything. We even kind of co-coached some of the distance events. So it really, and the one thing he always said to me, that one day you're going to become a head coach, and if one of your assistants get hit by a bus, you're going to need to know how to coach the shot put. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but those are really good skills to be able to be an, an all-around coach. But not only that, just, um, you know, watching him interact with athletes and parents, and those are the kind of things that I think makes you a great coach because you learn everything about, um, um, you know, what it takes to, to be effective. So, um, again, I, I consider that a base from University of Illinois and, um, and bringing those special people into my life. Um, you know, even what I'm doing at the University of Texas, I believe that um, all of that base was developed here in my 10 years of coaching at um, Illinois and, and my five years as the head coach. So, again, I, I just thank um, U of I for everything um, that uh, the university and the athletic department has done for me. I want to thank personally my family, my husband, my children. Um, my daughter is in ninth grade, and she actually has been emailing the volleyball coaches here at U of I. <laughs> uh, they were born, they were you know raised here. They were born in Texas, but they were raised here for ten years. So this is all they know. This is their hometown. My son is a freshman playing basketball at the University of Oregon. Uh, my mother, Georgiana Buford, is here, and she's traveled with me through every single stage of uh, my athletics career, starting at eight years old. Uh, my sister, Tamika, who ran with me when I was little. She was my, my uh, traveling buddy when we were running AAU. Uh, my niece, Malika, my brother, Dennis, um, my niece, Brianna and Michaela, and Ashley and Morla Kay, Ashley Spencer, Morla Kay Akinnison are here with me. They were here with me when I was a head coach at Illinois and won their own Big Ten titles. Um, and, you know, even as a coach, I won Coach of the Year last year for USA, and if it weren't for them, you know, that wouldn't be possible. So, uh, again, i like to thank all the people who support me and are around me and um, who've helped me in my career. So, thank you. See, I didn't cry like Dick Buckus did. <laughs>